42 seconds to go before uh, the class begins. This is uh, Dr. Nelly Deutsch, and I'm going to be starting a session on WizIQ. The session is Open Education Week. This is the last class of the week, but it's not the last class for Open Education. We'll be having more classes and more interactions and hopefully collaborate in creating open education resources and helping one another build open education. Hello and welcome. Welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to today's session. I hope um, you can see me. All right, here I am. Welcome. Uh, this is not the last class for open education. But this is the last class of the week. It's Friday. My name is Nelly Deutsch, and I'm really happy to see you. If you can add in the chat box where you're from and uh, your interest or anything else you'd like to add about open education, today we're going to reflect and uh, collaborate, talk about the future of open education and how we can collaborate and do something together. Okay, so uh, as people are coming in, if you can add where you're from. Now, I know many, most of you, and I know where you're from, but others don't. So it's interesting if you could add um, where you are right now to those who may not know who you are. And I see there are two people who have um, raised their hands. Is that correct? All right, so we're waiting for people to come in. There's... All right. Hello, William. I see you haven't been here. Those of you um, who were not here in previous classes, if um, you could put your thumbs up if this is your first class uh, for Open Education Week on WizIQ. Thumbs up. And if this is not your first class, you don't have to uh, add any thumbs. Okay, there's um, a smiley. If you click on it, uh, you'll be able to uh, get the thumbs up, thumbs down, clap your hands, all kinds of smileys that are a great way to um, communicate as we add text to the chat. So, William, I see this is your first. Helena wasn't here this week, so this is a first. My interest is tech. I had to move to my Mac, which is quite small. Tiny. My other Mac decided to um, take some time off. We've got Romania. If you could write where you're from. Thank you, Duma. For those who don't, new tech in education. Glad to see you here, Muna. Uh, it's always a pleasure to um, introduce people to technology. And if this is your first time, welcome. Technology is a great way. It really does facilitate open learning. Jamaica, hello, Pauline. And we've got Galena, hello, Galena from Russia. All right, so um, it's been quite a week. As I said, this is a third class this week on open education, open education resources. We talked about uh, resources, open education resources. We talked about Wiki Educator, where you can familiarize yourself with Open Education Resource University. We talked about collaborating and sharing. 
And today we're going to do discuss reflection. Okay, Open Education Week is from March 11 to March 15. Today is March 15, but uh, many are going on. On WizIQ in India, they're having uh, discussions from the Ministry of Education and higher ed universities are discussing higher education, how um, everyone can join forces, higher education can join forces and learn together and share resources for free. So when we talk about open education, we're talking about free and open. Now we know that we have to make a living, so it's not about teachers being open, it's about organizations <laughs> being open, and yet paying teachers and paying for the resources. But students do not have to pay. Uh, there is a wonderful, under the common, Creative Commons, there's a wonderful list of uh, open projects showcased with reflections on open education. I've added the PowerPoint presentation to uh, the course in WizIQ. Over 300 people have joined so far which shows that there is an interest, a great interest, in um, open education. I'm trying to um, go there right now so I can share it with you. I had to switch computers um, because for some reason my uh, larger laptop decided that it wanted some time off. I want to share the uh, course with you for those of you that are new to um, the course because you haven't joined yet. It's called Open Education and uh, let me share the link with you and you'll be able to get everything there. Okay, so uh, here it is. I'm adding it to the chat box. There we go. So it'll be available. You can uh, join the course. It's completely free. We'll continue interacting in the course sharing information. 308 uh, participants have joined in less than a week, which I think shows, as I said, that there is an interest in open education by educators. We all understand the value and we discussed it in the previous classes. And I'm also going to share the, uh, the resource that I added for today so you can access the PowerPoint. I also created some videos that I added to YouTube and these are completely open. In other words, uh, by adding Creative Commons, it means that I am willing to share it. I don't know why it doesn't seem to want to... Oh, here we go. All right, here's the link to the PowerPoint presentation. You can download everything. In other words, being open means that we share everything with each other and we allow others to download it for free. And not only to download it for free, but to make changes. So if you look at that PowerPoint presentation, you can take whatever you want from there and you can change it. And that's what open means. It means being able to change everything. So if you could go into that PowerPoint presentation and everything is clickable. In other words, if you go into slide number three and click on the image, you'll be able to get to the open culture. 
okay which I think is very very special okay so let's uh, let's follow that in addition there are also courses and there's good news from I see it's not clickable there we go there's also good news from California they're now providing accredited courses for free so far all the courses were not free if they were accredited you were only able to take courses for free without accreditation now accreditation means that you're able to um, get points for a university degree and non-accredited courses do not allow you to do that which is not a good thing okay so let me ask you how many of you have taken uh, online courses that were open and free such as MOOCs okay, if you can give me a thumbs up how many of you have taken courses that are completely free open courses okay let's see if uh, we can get a poll here have you taken free open courses and when I say course, I mean university courses mainly. Okay, we'll see if the poll works for us. Okay, there it is. There's the poll. If you could just, um, you've taken MOOCs. Okay, MOOCs um, are going to lose their value. They were very, very popular for a couple of months, um, but I think that um, accreditation is very important. Since the MOOCs do not have accreditation, um, you know, what's the point of having a MOOC if you can't get credit for uh, taking the course? If you want to learn online, there are lots of places to learn online. You don't need a MOOC to learn online for free, but you do need a MOOC to get accreditation, to get credit for what you learn. So I see that um, it's half-half, um, but most people here have taken free courses. All right. Okay, let me share the results. Okay, you can see the results now. And I'm going to end the poll. All right, so uh, let's let's screen share and take a look at some of the uh, new things that are happening because of um, Open Education. Open Education Week happens every year. This is not the first time. It started, I believe, in 2009, maybe 2010. So uh, this is probably the third or fourth year of Open education week open education gets us thinking you know what are we doing okay as educators as um, organizations public education what are we doing okay are we uh, going to make money out of education is that what we want or do we want to make it free for our students? When I say we make money, I mean the organizations, for-profit organizations. And now there's a, a huge uh, problem in the United States. Apparently, um, universities, for-profit universities, uh, are not getting accredited because um, the accreditors think that if you're for-profit, you cannot be serious about your students. All you care about is making money. So for example, the University of Phoenix is in trouble right now. Walden University, a lot of the online universities are in trouble because um, they may not get accredited. They're on probation, and I think probation is like two years or something. So it doesn't matter whether uh, you're providing good education. If you're making money, then you're not good. That's a bad thing, according to uh, the accreditation bodies. Okay, so let's take a look at um, open culture. I hope you can see this. Uh, let me know in the chat if you're able to uh, see this. 